Today we're going to explain how you can correct the issue of having the gust register fall to the wrong side of the wind speed needle. This particular instrument came to us from a customer in Ketchikan, Alaska, where this condition happened during shipping. This doesn't happen often, but occasionally during shipping or during a move, this condition can happen. There's an easy way to repair this without returning it back to maximum. The first thing to do is disconnect the wires from the back of the instrument. Make sure to label them so when you reconnect, they are reconnected in the proper sequence. To start, you're going to rotate the knob in a clockwise rotation until you get both needles at around 75 miles per hour. Holding the instrument with the knob facing the ceiling and your thumbs firmly on the back plate, you will then rotate the instrument forward as quickly as you can. This action will force the gust register needle to jump up while the wind speed needle to slide below it to correct the condition. As you can see, the wind speed needle is now in the proper side, ready to record the highest gust. This may not always happen the first attempt. You may need to repeat this procedure two or three times to achieve success. If unsuccessful after a few tries, you may contact the Maximum Service Department for further assistance.